Uh, it just gives me a twist in my stomach to revisit all of that video and think about our winter. And if you uh, can believe it, we have winter storm watches, winter storm warnings, winter weather approaching. Look at this map. At this point yesterday, all we had on this as far as watches, warnings and advisories were the flood warnings for the East Central Mountains. Look at what we've added today. Crayola box. Someone has just scribbled all over Central and Southern Idaho from winter weather advisories in the Southwest Highlands to parts of Twin Falls County or parts of the Magic Valley. I should say wind advisories for Idaho Falls, Pocatello, Rexburg. We have some winter weather advisories and winter storm warnings for Bellevue, Haley, Ketchum, Sun Valley. That starts later tonight is in place until tomorrow evening and in the West Central Mountains. We have a winter weather advisory for Riggins, Whitebird and then east of that a winter storm watch is in effect for much of the West Central Mountains. So just some unbelievably winter like conditions for mid May. We're just about a month away from summer, if you can believe it. And here's what we're dealing with. And as far as our conditions go across the Northwest, this is that system that is driving it all. It's hovering right now just off the coast of Western Washington, pushing a cold front out ahead of it and ahead of the cold front. We have a lot of precipitation. Here's the rain we're seeing across the Treasure Valley right now. Seattle, Portland getting drenched a very unsettled couple of days in store for the Northwest, and we are seeing again that rain filling in. Looks like the Boise area picking up some light showers. Owyhee County seeing some moderate rain right now, but pretty much everywhere around the western end of the valley, especially picking up some rain showers. And that'll just continue to be the case today. Have the umbrella. It's going to get windy as well, so hold on tight to the umbrella as you head out today. Gals, I would say it's a ponytail kind of day. Guys, maybe a man bun kind of day if you can pull that thing off. That's how it's going to be today. Very windy, very wet, very gray. So here's the rain we expect by early afternoon. Look at the snow up in the mountains. I'll show you the snow forecast in just a moment. We have some significant winter-like snow totals that are headed our way. This will be as the front moves through. So between 5 and 7 o'clock tonight at my best guess, is when we'll see that front come through. It'll bring some thunderstorm activity as it does. So some very gusty winds, localized winds, some heavy drenching rain as these storms roll through. They'll move off quickly. Magic Valley, you'll start seeing the storms by about 9 o'clock tonight, so not until a little bit later today. We'll see that mountain snow continue off and on today and look at, or I should say tomorrow, look at this, early tomorrow morning. We will be cold enough down into the 30s that we could see a couple of snowflakes here in the valley if that precipitation hangs on long enough. That is the question, whether or not will have the moisture around and then throughout the day tomorrow chance of some more showers off and on. This is a pretty wet event. We're looking at a half an inch of rain for Boise. Most of that will be this evening as that front rolls through and then quickly look at some of these snow totals. Brundage over half a foot, possibly pushing eight inches or more in Br at Brundage over the next couple of days. Uh, just about an inch and a half for Stanley, but look at some of the eastern mountains. We're talking six to 12 inches of snow piling up as this system rolls through and again, those snow levels will drop most dramatically tomorrow morning down to about 3,000 to 3,500 feet or so as it gets really cold Wednesday morning. Temperature is not going to be comfortable today. We're only looking at low 50s across the valley, made even colder by that very gusty northwest wind that will sit in, set in later today. Even just today, we're talking several inches possible above 7,000 feet than much more tomorrow. We stay cool and unsettled tomorrow with the chance of some showers, but then we start a slow climb back to the 70s. Your weekend is actually looking very nice.